All right, so, well, I think it's time for a channel update. What's going on guys? I'm CJR. Welcome back to another episode. This is a channel update for late 2022. Just want to talk about a few things that are going on in my life, going on with the channel, um, what I'm playing, that kind of stuff. So um, as you can see, a bit of a new filming setup here. I actually got rid of my digital SLR um, to pay for one of my new hobbies, which I'll talk about. Um, so yeah, just using my phone, I thought this would be a quick and easy way to make videos. And if it means that I'm going to make more videos, then, um, you know, that's a good thing. So on my setup right now, my, my camera's just on a little tripod right on my table. I have a bit of a wide angle lens. I'm going to get a better microphone, but audio should be okay. Um, I guess I'll go right into the future of this channel or what I want to do in the near future. Uh, I really want to start doing more videos like this. I don't know if, if any of you watch Bithead 1000, um, a big fan of his. He just turns on his camera and kind of goes. I'm not going to go for an hour, hour and a half like he does. You know, maybe I'll pick a topic and go for it on 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, most likely there'll be like a clickbaity title. One of the ones I've been thinking about was um, I wish the video game market would crash. That's the one I really want to talk about. Um, I'll get into why I wish that in that video. Um, yeah, just little things like, feel free, um, do me a big favor, guys. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be great if we can do like a, if I can crowdsource um, any questions that you guys would like me to answer that I can just kind of talk about for 10 minutes and, and create a video. I, one I get all the time is how did you and Matt meet? Uh, we'll probably do a video on that, the two of us together. I think we've done something similar before, but a dedicated video would be fun. Um, so yeah, just trying to think of easy content that I could hop on camera, talk about a certain topic and whether it's gaming or collecting or any of my other hobbies, um, you know, social media stuff, um, talk a little bit about my experiences there. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below if there's any topics that you guys would like me to touch on. That'd be super helpful. And then I can try and get one of those videos out of um, every week. The other series that I've been meaning to do for years now is I want to not only I want to highlight other people's game rooms, but almost do a reaction kind of critique, not really a critique of other people's game rooms. So what I would do is I would have somebody's game room tour on screen. I would be pausing and kind of interjecting, um, doing a little commentary on what I like and what I, how I like their setup and this and that, you know, nothing where I uh, would be really talking down on their collections. I don't want it. I don't want it to be that. Um, but uh, let me know what you think of that. I think that'd be interesting. Maybe a quick 10 minute video. Um, I think it'd be a great way to highlight some smaller creators. And I also think it'd be kind of cool to um, just react and, and do a reaction video to some larger game rooms as well. Um, that's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. I know I, I see people kind of doing it in person other people's game rooms. I've never really seen anybody do a reaction video. And it's kind of what I'm known for is my um, game room and my game room tour. Um, so I think it'd be an interesting series and I think you guys would be interested in it. So um, let me know in the comments below. That'd be like another, you know, once every two weeks or something like that, just a video that I can get out. Um, highlighting game sections. In um, I started doing that, but I kind of fell away from it taking a particular section of my game room and focusing on that instead of doing, you know, the overview of the uh, game room tour. Um, that's great for an overview, but if I really, um, it's interesting if I can kind of hone in on one section, I think I've done PlayStation. I think I did a Nintendo Nook, but that those can be updated as well. So yeah, just a few content ideas um, going forward. Um, what else has been going on? I lost 20 pounds, um, trying to be a lot healthier. Uh, I'm doing intermittent fasting. I'm only, I'm actually fasting now for 18 hours a day, which has been great. It's something that's pretty manageable for me. And, um, it's just a, a great thing all around, not only for weight loss, um, cognitive function has been much better. Um, there's just all sorts of health benefits that, um, have been proven, um, to, to be all sorts of things that have been proven, proven to be beneficial through intermittent fasting. So that's been great. Um, you know, it started off with a detox. I'm trying to eat better. There are times where I do get fast food, which is okay. I'm intermittent fasting, so it doesn't really, um, affect me as long as I'm under 2000 ish calories, uh, for the day. 
drinking a gallon of water a day, working out down in the gym that we built in um, uh, during the pandemic. Working out, I should say, I've worked out five times so far. So don't judge by, by the video here. I know I still have a little bit of man boobs. That's gonna take a while. Um, I got pretty heavy. Okay, so I was almost 280. So 278, I think, at my highest. And right now I'm 258 as of this morning, which is good. I haven't weighed that low in like six years. So realistically, um, I'd like to be around 240. I think that's a healthy weight, healthy kind of dad bod in somewhat good condition, good shape weight. I'm, I'd be happy, ho hoping to get there by spring. If I wanted to push it and really start running, doing 10Ks, you know, 220 would be a good weight for me. So um, I was getting heavy enough and I was eating poorly enough that I was start starting to think about my own mortality. Uh, there's no way I wouldn't have lasted another 20 years at that rate. Absolutely not. I would have been dead by 60 if I had kept going down that road. And when you have kids, like it's, you know, I don't want to, I don't want them to lose their dad at a, at a young age. And, um, so yeah, I, that's kind of what got me there. And, um, I don't know. I stopped caring about like my physical appearance for a long time. Um, I just, you know, as, with the pandemic, I just never really got out of my jogging pants and yeah, it got bad. I would see myself in pictures and just, oh, it was not pretty. And you know, clothes don't fit. I struggle every morning to find a shirt that fits. And so it's been nice. Um, it's funny cause I started getting a little healthy, losing a bit of weight. Then you start caring more about kind of what you're wearing. So I bought some new clothes and even little things like flossing, <laughs> like it just all kind of snowballs. Like, Oh, I care what I look like again. You know, I've always brushed my teeth, but like now I'm flossing and really caring. I'm moisturizing my face. I don't know. So I'm just trying to be healthier overall. Um, yeah, so I know there's a lot of you out there. Whenever I post about that, I get a lot of feedback. There's a lot of, you know, men my age who watch my channel are probably going through the same thing. So, um, what else did I want to touch on? Um, I'm going to have some upcoming videos on, I've been playing God of War and it's an absolute masterpiece. Um, I'm going to do a get dedicated video on that. It probably won't be like a full review because I'll probably do it before I finish the game. Um, but I really wanted to touch on that because I, I think it may be creeping into my top five maybe it's it's in the running it's really good i'm probably 12 hours in um certainly it's in my top 10 already um it is a wonderful wonderful game fantastic game and i really haven't been playing much of my playstation 5 in months so it was nice to kind of dust that off uh and the steam deck i should probably do a video on this i probably should have done it a long time ago um you know i'm a little late on this one i got it a couple months ago um it's the best handheld ever made um, it's surpassed the Nintendo, um, switch for me. So absolutely love this. I'm doing most of my gaming on this. So I'll talk maybe a little bit, I'll do a what I'm playing episode and it's mostly going to be, um, PC game, steam and steam dominated aside from some of the bigger titles that have come out on consoles, uh, video coming soon on the gorgeous pinball machine. If you guys follow me on social media, if you don't, there's links in the description below. Um, follow me on Instagram. You'll see that I picked up a full-sized uh, virtual pinball machine from uh, Woodstock Custom Arcades. Shout out to Woodstock Custom Arcades. They did a fantastic job. Dedicated video on that, which I filmed footage for, I think, months ago now. So I owe you guys a few videos. There should be some videos um, coming soon. Um, social campaigns. I wanted to quickly mention, you'll see once in a while, you'll see like a... Um, ad on uh youtube and, and social so um you know i try and keep it with uh products that I, I think you guys will uh care about it's usually video game tech related sometimes food related snacks related i did the popcorn one um yeah it's great like i have a great relationship i'm here in canada so i have a good relationship with uh a lot of the top game publishers which leads to um some social campaigns which is absolutely awesome because it um it funds my hobbies. And I always say I don't want to use family money. This is a dedicated video that I'll talk about when I, um, I'll do a dedicated video on my free, I don't want to even do this because it is free, my free collection down here and how I, how I did it. Um, uh, but basically, um, it's stuff like that, that gives me the side hustle money is what I call it to, um, pay for my hobbies without using family money, which is amazing. So, um, the pinball machine paid for by doing, ads like the ones that you guys see once in a while so 
you know, I, I don't think that they're too intrusive. I don't think that, you know, I, um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy them. You can do me a big favor by just watching, liking, commenting on those. That'd be a big help. Um, subscribing to the channel. Channel growth has been pretty good considering I haven't been uploading lately. Um, over 91K now. I was stuck at 89.9 for a long time. Um, another video topic here. I kind of killed my channel growth after I stopped regular uploads four or five years ago. So, um, I, yeah, I still really want to get to that, uh, 100,000 subs just to get that plaque on the wall. Um, that'd be super cool. The boys are always asking me about that. Um, boys are good. Family's good. We got a new dog. Uh, Rudy is still around, our old dog. He's now 12, but we got a puppy, Forrest. Uh, you've probably seen that if you're following me on social. And now I'm kind of blabbering about stuff that's probably too personal. I maybe don't care about that. Um, I think that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update, say hello, and uh, let you know that there'll be a couple videos coming in the next couple weeks. And um, yeah, looking to produce some regular content throughout to the next garage sale season. I will do a garage sale recap. I'm looking at the pile of games from this year, and I think there's probably a couple hundred games that I'm keeping this year, so... A lot of Snickle Fritz Wii stuff and, and, and DS, but we'll go through. It was a uh, certainly a good May. I got most of that stuff in May. But yeah, great season. Um, yeah, thank you for your continued support if you're not subscribed. And for whatever reason you landed on this video, um, do me a favor and subscribe. Uh, ring the bell. I, I don't know. Thank you guys for your continued support. And um, we'll see you again soon. Till the next episode.